welcome to CAD station today we are going to do an assembly drawing of this linkage bar linkage assembly drawing and then we can uh, give some motion a rotatory motion on bar 2 and uh, analyze some motion effects or graphs so let's start first of all I am going to draw a new part first we have to draw parts then we can assemble them so let's see here uh, it's mentioned its uh, name as a uh, fun of uh, first one second third and fourth one so first of all we I'm going to draw these first bar linkage so front plane and sketch and I'm going to draw in millimeters or let's I'm going to draw in inches it's up to you you may draw in millimeters too front plane again and first of all one circle and second circle then horizontal to this find the line yes one circle and then again okay and make one more circle here and one more circle here now escape select this circle this circle this circle and this four circles select and make them equal next select this outer circle this circle and make them also equal okay next is here uh, you can see its uh, diameter is 0 0.5 so these all circles is of 0 0.5 mm dia smart dimension only mention one as 0 0.5 inches and okay and the outer i have made this uh, so its dia is you can see here its dia is one inches so here this outer dia is of one inches okay now next is the distance between these two circles is 12 inches so it's from its center to its center is 12 inches okay and from here to here is 6 inches to make them in equidistance and next escape and it's okay one more dimension we have to give as 1.5 these two holes distance 1.5 smart dimension from the circle to the circle is 1.5 inches okay now next is simply go to line command from the circle to find the vertical line next touch the circle double click again starting from the circle to the circle escape now select this outer circle and the line and make them as tangent similarly these two circles and okay select these two lines i have selected the dimension line and make them tangent next is similarly for these two tangent and these two as tangent it's by default tangent but uh, we have to check them next is smart dimension you can see here to here distance is 1.5 uh, 0 0.5 yeah so from here to top also mention them as 0 0.5 okay and one more thing go to flat and flat this as 0 0.5 okay now it's done you can see it's going to be extrude which means it's going to be take 0 0.25 inches so close the fleet features extrude boss base and make them 0 0.25 it's asking for select contours uh, because I didn't uh, remove this circle uh, which I have to trim it but if I don't so just select these contours and it is done so okay our b link one is ready so 
you can make its appearance or, or leave them it's up to you so let's make its appearance i'm going to make them as this blue okay and control s i'm going to save this in okay here i'm creating a folder linkage assembly drawing okay and in this i'm going to save as part one or i can just name it as one okay now it's saved next is our link to part and uh, keep remember that you have made the first linkage in ips so you have to meet all in ips okay now it's two its distance is three and uh, other things we know so just go to front plane sketch i am simply selecting a straight slot you can make it by using pencil command this one two circles okay first circle then made two circle one here and one here now smart dimension these distances it's three yeah it's three inches outer dia is one uh it's asking radius so 0 0.5 radius and its dia is 0 0.5 and make them also 0 0.5 or you can mention the relation okay now it's ready it's quite simple just go to features extrude boss base and 0 0.25 uh, let's see here is no uh, not asking about the select contours because it's only one contour that's why okay give them some appearance i'm going to give it as this purple it's okay it's my bar 2 so save all as part 2 now next is part 3 which is 7 inch long so again part and okay it's 7 inches so simply front plane sketch go to again slot and for one more thing ips then you have to again select front plane sketch and slot next from here to horizontal that's one circle from origin one circle from this end escape and select both circles and make relation equal a smart dimension this line is of seven inches outer radius is of 0 0.5 and this circle is of 0.5 mm dia now it's ready okay again go to features extruded boss base it's also 0 0.25 inches okay now it's done go to appearance give them some appearance as okay it's okay it's my bar save it as bar 3 or part 3 okay next is part 4 which is 5 inches long so again new okay mm2 ips front plane sketch again slot i'm going to draw a vertical you can draw it horizontal it's up to you next is two circles one at this end and one is at this end escape and make relations equal now what's next simply smart features it is of five inches long five inches this radius is 0 0.5 because its dia is and its dia is 0 0.5 
now okay again go to features extrude boss base and similarly 0 0.250 now it's done again go to appearance and give them some appearance i'm just giving them as okay i am making it black it's okay now it's my link for save at part 4 okay now we have done these all four bar links then we have to assemble it so for assembly new and assembly drawing okay now next is first of all cancel this go to this visibility off and uh, click on view regions now your origin is visible then go to bras linkage assembly drawing it's here first you have to part one and you have to put it in the origin so move your cursor to the origin and click now your bar is here next is bar 2 you can see here bar 2 is in front of this bar you can see this dotted line shows that this bar is in front of the bar 1 so assembly then assembly insert component next is part 2 simply part 2 is here now next is mat select mat you have to mat this one and this one circle coincidence okay and make them this face and just select this face it's coincident okay now close this one link one and two is here then we have three it's three so insert link three i'm inserting it here now next is first of all make them mat this circle and this circle it's concentric next is you can see it shows these bar threes uh, not in front of bar two but i am going to put it in front as uh, select this face and this face coincident okay next is our last which is insert component part 4 put it here make mats this one and this one coincident okay next this one and this one coincident okay next is uh, you can see it's going to be intersecting the part so i have to select this part and this part and make them coincident now one more thing we haven't made them so make them to this face and okay that's coincident and okay now our bar is okay you can see it's moving if you select this one it will also move okay now uh, our assembly is done here but we have to uh, put some a uh, rotatory effect on bar too so for rotation or if you want to analyze any motion effect or you have to give simulation so you have to go to motion study uh, you can see here it's motion study if you uh, if your version of solidworks don't uh, didn't show any tab of motion study here then you can simply come here right click and find motion manager if i click it you can see it's hide and again i can make it visible by clicking where is my motion manager let's find here is motion manager it's up here here okay now click motion here motion study and then first of all animation to motion analysis okay now next is here is the motor effect you can just hover it 
motor okay moves a component as if acted upon by a motor so click it it's showing rotatory motor okay then it's asking on which bar i want to uh, rotate it so i have to rotate bar 2 it's showing clock uh, anti clockwise rotation if i click on reverse direction it becomes clockwise i just make it counter clockwise you can make it clockwise too okay next is is asking 100 rpm revolution per minute if i change it to 60 rpm it's up to you i have made it 60 rpms okay no need to more settings okay now whenever you give some motion to any linkage or any part then you have to calculate it you can see here is the calculate so i just click on calculate you can see it's moving by itself okay for more good result i go to setting here is frame per second i just make it 100 R R frame per second and okay wait again go to sighting 100 rp uh, frames per second and high okay now again calculate it it shows very slowly okay uh frame of uh, frame per second means it shows in one minute 100 frames is generating so the increasing in frames per second will increase your result good so it's done it's of four and half means it's five second rotatory effect if i just put this button here and then okay it will come to one second it will one revolution it will complete one revolution in one seconds now it's done uh, the next thing is its uh, rotation is done uh, one more thing you need to keep in mind it's showing f f means i have told you in previous assembly drawings f means the bar one is fixed it's uh, not going to be moved anywhere only my these three links are moving you can see our animation is ready just play it or if you want to change its speed you can change its speed by again go to rotatory motion right click it and edit features you can i am going to mention 10 rpms okay and then see what happened i just calculate you can see it's moving too slowly it's taking time here then it's going to downward first time it will take time when you are uh, calculating then it will be free so you can check it by rotating like this your how about you and one more thing this bar in our drawing is uh, at this side but i have put it in this side because if i put this uh, orange bar on the left side or uh, right side it will just coincide this uh, first linkage that's why i put it in front okay hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial you can again just put it here original position it will come back straight position hope you guys can understand this tutorial this assembly drawing and how to we uh, do motion analysis or give some rotatory motion to any of our part so hope you will like the video and share to your friends and also subscribe to carry thank you